So what's up everybody on YouTube, Master My Tech here with another video. Um, this time I'm going to be showing you the newest upgrades I've done to my ANET A8 printer, which is actually over here on the side of, the, uh, of my desk here. Um, then I'm going to be showing you the upgrades that I've done so far from the printer since the last time I actually did the update video, which was probably about a year ago. Um, so yeah, here are going to be the upgrades and I'll, we'll take a look at the printer since I've done the upgrades to it. Alright, so the first upgrade I actually did to this was I ended up replacing the hot end with an E... 3D V6 hot end. Um, I ended up having to change out this carriage to support it, but it is down here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I did try a couple of these Chinese E3D print head things. These things don't work. These things were a piece of junk. They have Teflon tubes. This is a whole all metal hot end. Way better than these. These just garbage. So after that, I ended up printing this air duct in order to cool down the prints. And up printing a little mustache for the fan. I liked it better. Don't know if I remember showing this in the last video, but I also printed this chain here in order to hold all the cables that are inside of here. I did end up printing out a new uh, a holder for my belts back here because it was grinding on the edges here and over here that were causing it to squeak really loud and it was wearing out my belts, so I replaced that. I ended up printing out these belt tighteners. I think I showed that in the last episode, that one there as well, and then this one here. Um, so tight to tighten up these belts. I did also get this ma print material here off of Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. That um, replaces the uh, blue tape. Instead of you having to use blue tape, you just use this instead. It comes out a lot better, a lot cleaner. I always got to use alcohol though. This is just 90%, I mean not 90%, sorry, 70% isopropyl alcohol to clean the print bed along with the rag. And then to get your prints off because it sticks so well, just got to use a flat, flat thing to pry it off. <laughs> All right, another upgrade I ended up doing was I actually ended up drilling out these holes and putting in these thumb screws in order to level the bed. I did use nylon locking nuts here at the bottom that make it so that I don't need to actually level the bed very often. It actually stays very tight, so I don't have to level it very much. Another random upgrade I did was actually these here, which actually held up the uh, motors. So it helps to support the motors down here at the bottom because the apparently it was like off structure a little bit. Um, so this helps uh, support the uh, axis here. I'm doing little cosmetic things here, which I just put a little rim around the screen and the buttons here, just so it looked like aesthetically better to me. I also ended up printing out a new filament roller. It's actually with uh, bearings in it so that I can quick out change the filament and I'm able to just put it straight onto here and it rolls really well works out really well for it I ended up actually doing a Bowden style extruder as well so obviously it's the E3D V6 so I had to put the Bowden tube along with the Bowden thing up here this is actually going to be a uh, an oiler so you put a little bit of oil in here it also cleans off the filament just so you don't get any, any clogs or anything like that it's worked out very well since I've had it all right, and a couple of my other prints that I have actually done. I actually printed out this filament holder instead of that one there. Didn't really work out really well. Um, I actually printed out a couple of practical prints. This here is actually a very large dice tower for playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is a D20. Just roll it. Comes out just like that. It's actually a really cool dice roll. It's actually the tallest printer I've ever done. That's quality. is actually whoop. It's actually very very good. I was really impressed with how it came out. So I did end up getting this um, at one time, which is a weight extruder. Um, it's supposed to give more torque to the extruder hot end um, motor, but this thing did not work for shit. I could not get it to work with this Bowden that I have. It just was not working. So I ended up just not using it. I didn't need it. Um, I did end up actually printing the power supply cover here so that it has the cable coming out of here with the switch so that you can turn it on and off instead of using the uh, built-in power supply so it's always on one of the next, pr next prints I actually plan on doing is probably printing out a cover for this here my main board I was actually going to do Raspberry Pi for my Octoprint but I ended up not using that yet um, I might do it in a future video but I'm not too sure But 
Yeah, that needs to cover all them cables and stuff. <laughs> it's basically what this oiler is. It's a plastic piece that opens up, just like this. You put a couple pieces of sponge on the inside, put a little oil on here, and then you just clip it around the filament. Just like that. So that you can oil the filament and it helps keep it clean. It actually works out really, really well. Keeps my hot end from ever getting clogged. Haven't had a clog ever since I started using this. Very well worth the upgrade. And this thing allows me, these these upgrades have upgraded this $200 printer to a very, very nice printer and I'm really happy with how it came out. So yeah, those are my furthest upgrades. Alright guys, those are my printer upgrades. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, the upgrades are really well worth it. Made the printer a lot better. Um, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a nice day. Peace.